All right. Uh, Rob asked me to share a little bit briefly with you guys today. And so I'm going to share a brief message that I like to title, Attitude is Everything. All right. Can you say that with me? Attitude is everything. Let's try to do it again together. One more time. One, two, three. Attitude is everything. Good. Good, good, good. All right, listen. Let me share with you guys a couple of Bible verses, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. From the book of Malachi, you don't have to look it up, just listen. Malachi, the first three verses. Malachi 1, 2, and 3. An oracle, the word of the Lord to Israel, meaning God's people, through Malachi. Malachi was a prophet. Verse 2. I have loved you, says the Lord. But you ask, how have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? The Lord says, yet I have loved Jacob. But Esau, I hate it. And I'm going to stop right there. Dear God, I just lift up your name. I thank you so much for this day. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you would open our minds and our hearts to understand this word, be able to use it and apply it so that we would honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So here you have two brothers, Jacob and Esau. They were twins. And here's a, here's a nice picture of them. All right, the brothers were totally opposite. Even though they were twins, they were not uh, identical twins, they were fraternal twins. Now, if you look at the picture, all right, the guy in the brown, he's big and he's strong, he's kind of monster looking, that's Esau. And Esau was a man's man. The guy was a great hunter, he was big, he was strong, he had skills, all right? He could hunt down a, a lion, a boar, anything with no problem. And then you have the other brother, again, they're twins, the other brother was not so big, not so strong, not so skilled. He's Jacob. Jacob had to fight all his life for everything he wants. Now here's the deal between these two. You have Jacob and Esau there. The Bible says, and God says to his people, he wants to remind them, there's a problem with God's people that they have a bad attitude. They have an attitude that they don't care. And I think sometimes that Esau attitude spreads to some students. Hey, did you do your homework? I don't care. I ain't doing my homework. Esau attitude. All right. Hey, did you finish the work? Uh, I'll just turn in what I got. I'll take a C. I'll take a D. Esau. All right. So that attitude, that's what God hated. Esau had that attitude. Now, here's the deal. If you understand a little bit about Bible history, you have Father Abraham. God gave Abraham a promise. He says, I'm going to give you lots of land, and you're going to have children like the stars. You're going to have a great name. You're going to be famous. You're also going to have a great nation. Your family is going to become a great nation. Esau follows that line. That blessing was supposed to fall on Esau. But you know what? He did not care. He had that whole fame, fortune, all that stuff going in, and he could care less. And in this picture right here, you see the two guys? One day, Esau went out hunting, and apparently he didn't have good fortune that day. He came home with nothing. He's hungry. His brother right there, Jacob, is making a bowl of soup. All right? It's kind of a stew, lentil stew he's making. And he says, hey, man, give me some soup. I'm hungry. All right? You see him there? He's like, man, I'm starving. And Jacob is like, no, nah, I ain't giving you any soup. This is my soup, like brothers do. My soup. I made it. So they're going on. And then Jacob has this great idea. He says, you know what? I'll give you the bowl of soup if you give me your birthright, your blessing. The blessing you're supposed to get, let me have it. And the brother's like, I don't care. You can have the birthright. Give me the bowl of soup. And so they exchange it. Now, he just tricked them for something awesome. All right? Like I told you, lots of land, lots of children, a great name, meaning fame and fortune. All right? And... On top of that, you'll be able to bless others. He just sold all that for a bowl of soup. And God is, that's why God says, I hate this guy. His attitude is horrible. But Jacob, he fools his brother right here for that birthright. Later, he tricks his father into blessing him for that blessing. And then on top of that, God is allowing all this because you know why? Jacob will do anything to get God's blessing. He'll do anything. 
He'll trick his brother. He'll trick his father. He even wrestled an angel, the Bible says. He wrestled an angel, came to bring him a message, and he's like, you're not leaving until you bless me. And the angel's like, hey, I didn't come here for that. And they're struggling. Of course, the angel can't hurt them because, you know, they have an order not to hurt people. So he's just trying to get away. And Jacob's like, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. And finally, the angel dislocates his hip so he can get away. And God is so impressed. God is like, this guy is so hungry for my blessing. I like Jacob. I like his attitude. And God blesses him anyway. And he changes his name from Jacob to Israel, which become the people of Israel, the Jewish nation. All that's going on. Now, you have two separate attitudes. Mr. I don't care. I'll do everything. Uh, my hands, everything I have is because of me. And you have the other guy going, I don't have anything. And unless God blesses me, I'm never going to have anything. You have those two attitudes going on. Let me ask you guys a question right now. Which attitude do you have? Do you have Esau's attitude? You don't care. You're here. You're saying to myself, I don't care if I'm in a Christian school. I don't care. I hate my family. I hate my home. I hate school. I hate everything. Esau. Yeah. Let me tell you, God hates that. God is like, I hate that attitude. I could do without it. Or you're going to have a change of heart and go, you know what, man? I'll do anything for God's blessing. I'll do anything. I'll come to chapel. I'll come to J4L. I'll be here on Sunday family day. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that blessing that God can give me. And God will be like, wow, I like this guy. I like this girl. That's the attitude I'm looking for. Which one do you have? Attitude is everything. I'm going to give you one final illustration. Because attitude is just how you view things, how you see things. You could be in a bad situation and you can see it positively. And you can be, you know, just it's all the way you see it. So you see this guy right here, he's a baseball player. He's in his yard. He's playing baseball one day. He's by himself, though. So he tosses the baseball up in the air. And he says, I'm the best baseball hitter in all of baseball. And he swings. And he misses. But guess what? He picks up that ball one more time. He throws it up in the air. And he goes, I'm the best baseball hitter in all of baseball. He swings again. And he misses again. Eddie, it must be you. <laughs> How'd you know? You, you've been there. He does it again. Third time. Throws the ball up. He grabs the bat a little tighter. He swings a little harder. Quang, and he misses again. Three strikes, you're out. He does this again. I'm the best hitter in baseball. Wham. Swing, miss, swing, miss. Three times, three times, over and over and over. Three strikes, you're out, three outs, innings over. Kid scratching his head. And then all of a sudden he smiles because he just figured something out. And he says, man, three strikes out, three outs, the inning's over. I'm the best pitcher in baseball. Huh? All depends on your attitude, all right? So keep a positive attitude. Don't be like Esau, be like Jacob, all right? God bless you guys.